theory cam analysis so before going to this just we have a small introduction cam is a rotating machine element which produces rotating or reciprocating motion to another element or follower actually cam and follower constitute a higher pair because we are having line contact cam and follower mechanism is a simple mechanism which we use to do in any application for example inlet and outlet valves of ic engine on the weaving and textile industry paper milling industry like this we will be having this application in various uh, parts which we day to day uh, involve so now we just going to see how we experimentally do an do it before going to this just we have a small uh, classification of followers actually followers are classified uh, according to the surface contact like uh, knife edge follower flat edge flat face follower roller follower and spherical follower and depending upon the what to say motion we can also say as uh, reciprocating and oscillating even we can uh, classify cam as radial cam and also oscillating cam also so like this we will be having a uh, various uh, theoretical theoretical part we usually use to study in our uh, the theory subjects now practically we going to experiment how we going to do the experiment so this is the uh, base this is the apparatus just have a look at this apparatus and we can see the base circle radius this is the base circle radius which is nothing but 14.5 mm and this one is called the no circle radius and here we will be having a indicator the, with the help of the indicator we will be just measuring it so initially we need to fix this to what to say 0 de 0 degree actually here it's 90 degree so we assume it as a 0 degree and uh, the rise of the cam can be easily found from this scale so just have a look at this state scale so actually it's 11 mm so fix the 11 mm as the initial reference now we going to do the experiment so once the experiment is started so just listen uh, we will be rotating the cam and there will be a lift here so once the uh, maximum lift will be uh, 19 so after that it will be uh, stand still actually we will be having we will be noting that degree angle so angle will be 50 degree so this is the rise of the follower forward stroke so this is the forward stroke and we will be having 50 degree and after that there won't be any deviations actually next period is called dwell period in dwell period actually we will be what to say we will be having a 20 or 25 degree so dwell period the cam won't be getting down so we will be noting the dwell period angle that is 25 degree and next one will be return stroke the return stroke is same as whatever we saw so return stroke we also we will be getting an angle approximately 50 degree so we need to note down the degree first for forward stroke how much uh, angle the cam has rotated and dwell period how much we got and then return stroke how much we got and also we need to note the lift of the cam so this is the basic experiment and with the help of this so after noting all the values it's easy just to have a graphical representation and plotting in our uh, records so this is the basic setup and this experiment is one of the easiest experiment which can be done now we will be learning how to draw the cam profile so these are the data which we obtain via experiment so for forward stroke for nose dwell and return stroke we have got all the data so remaining will be the base dwell circle so returning the follow lift will be uh, denoted here so the follow lift is 8 mm so the base circle radius that is r1 is 14.5 mm and nose radius is 5.5 mm so these two data are very important for drawing the cam profile so first of all we will be before starting the cam profile we just do do few calculation that is 2 alpha if you want to calculate 2 alpha means we have to reduce whatever 240 degree we got right so we have to reduce from 360 so we'll be getting an alpha as 60 degree so just note down the value of r1 r2 and alpha so jr jr is nothing but distance of the lift so follow lift is 8 mm light so this is the lift <coughs> which we obtain from the follower that is indicator scale so these are the calculations and we will be uh, calculating that oq oq is from here to here is 17 17 mm o to q distance is 17 mm and with the help of the formula we can uh, do the calculation and determine the radius that is 225.5 mm so these three datas are required for drawing the cam profile pass and check so we know the value of the radius that is 14.5 so keep 14.5 mm 
actually we need to draw the base circle right so for this point o is the center and 14.5 mm as a radius draw a circle then uh, keep this point as o then we already got the value of alpha alpha is 60 degree so uh, take the so just draw your line and keep point as e and draw the value of alpha that is mark the alpha that is 60 degree for 60 degree draw a line okay so once it will be meeting at a point j then we are having the value for the lift 8 mm so draw a uh, draw the lift as 8 mm so it will be uh, going till k next we will be having no radius that is 5.5 r2 is the 5.5 mm so now just uh, mark the no radius that is from uh, k to q is 5.5 mm then mark the point q now we after calculating we will be having a value of 225.5 mm so just draw a uh, draw a line vertically to some extent and from the point uh, e you should be having a value of 225.5 mm so in terms of centimeter also you can draw so just mark the point q and then just try to join p and q and extend the line till f that is keep the uh, keep the i mean keep your compass in the point at uh, the point p and try to draw an arc it should be like a uh, cam right so it should be like a cam and uh, just join this point to k and you will be uh, getting like this and also just uh, join the point f and p and you will, it will be touching uh, it will be uh, generating like a tangent touching the circle so whatever things we did for Uh, preview thing for the other side also, so that you will be generating another cam. So same thing can be done for the other side, and uh, you will be getting a tangent line on the other part. Start. Thus, uh, we uh, we can draw the profile, and thus cam analysis is uh, cam analysis is done.